Hey everybody, today we're going to be installing a scupper hole and a Bass Raider 10E. We're going to be using these three products, which I will put a link in the description. If you've ever been out fishing in this, especially if you're with a friend and the water gets a little rough, I've had water numerous times come right over the front. And it ends up pooling up back here. So what I'm going to do is install this hole for it to drain out. And the hole should still be high enough above the water. So it should drain out no problem. We're going to start off by using this Starrett Deep Cut Bimetal Variable Pitch Hole Saw with Quick Shot Arbors. This is a 1 and 1 16th, 27 millimeter size. And it looks like this. See, it's gone through both sides of the plastic. Now we're going to use the Atwood through hole connector. Make sure it goes through real quick. See it fits through the hole we just cut and pops right out the bottom. Gonna clean up both sides with some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to use the 3M Marine sealant. I probably have too much on, but that's okay. Put some more sealant on those threads first. I'm gonna push down on the top so I gotta set the phone down. I've hand tightened this and then Slightly tightened it more with these, but it's pretty snug. I didn't want to over tighten it, so now we are going to cut part of this off. <laughs> So 
now that is cut off. I left a little bit sticking out just a little, which should still be above the water line. We're just gonna let this dry. See how it does. This is basically how it looks. It is the next day and everything's nice and dry. Put a five gallon bucket with a bunch of water in here and the boat's on a slight incline which is normal when driving so I'm going to pull this water into the boat see how fast it drains. All right, there you have it. Actually, it didn't take too long for five gallons to drain out. One of these days, I'm gonna test this out on the lake. Thanks for watching.